All right, so there's other ways that we can create a condition in which we can exit the while loop. So last time we just used a Boolean flag and we said that's true or false. So what we can also do is use this string and we can have our users uh, type something in, for example. So you can use a string to keep track of a true or false condition. So I'm going to say keep going, but I can't just use the word keep going because I need to have it, uh, a string doesn't, isn't true or false. A string is a string, and unlike the flag, which was a Boolean true or false, I'm going to have to put some condition in here for the keep going to satisfy. So I think I'll say if keep going equals y, or we will maybe do or keep going, oops, keep going. Remember that we, it's the computer's not smart enough to differentiate between lower and uppercase. So we'll say keep going, which I didn't do right. Okay, so now we'll say if keep going is equal to capital Y or keep going is equal to lower case Y, then let's keep going. But the problem that we face with this is that when we first, when the program first runs, keep going doesn't have anything in it. And so therefore, there's this will not render to true because it's not true and we'll exit right away. So we need to initialize this to something that will enable our, at least our first go at this while condition to be evaluated to true. So we're going to set keep going equal to y, so that we'll at least go in here once. But if you look at this code for a minute, and I'll give you a moment to look at it, we might still have some problems. All right, so what is our problem then? Well, keep going. If they type in no, that will break. That's true. Um, but what if we... Uh, what if we create something like um, else if keep going equals to yes? Well, we know that they want to keep going, so that's valid. Um, if keep going, and that should be up here. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Keep going. We do that a lot. Keep going is the same as yes or, which is there, or, remember when we do an, uh, I didn't really point this out last time, but let me make sure it's obvious. If we use one of these conditional operators, we have to make sure that both sides of the equation have a full, uh, a full statement to evaluate. In other words, I can't just say is the same as y here, because on this side of the or operator, there's not a full condition to evaluate. This is a full condition. Keep going equals capital Y. I also have to put, even though it's repetitive, I have to put keep going equals Y or is the same as Y on this side. So maybe I'll say something like, um, great. I need to do a C out, C out. Let's loop again, okay? And so this is evaluating if they entered in a capital Y or a lower Y. Here I'm just giving them another, well, you entered yes, so let's just let them know that great, we'll keep going again, and then our keep going is still Y or otherwise. But our next problem is this. What if they type in anything besides an N, a little N, a Y, or a Y? Well, if that happens, keep going is never going to get evaluated to something else. So if they type in N or N, I'm good. Actually, I'm just gonna break out of that, so that's okay. If they type in capital Y or Y, I give them some kind of feedback, which says, yes, keep going. But what happens if they type in anything else? Well, actually, I think that would work too, now that I say that out loud, because neither of them is gonna render true. Keep going has something else in it, like a Q or a P, and then we will exit the loop. So that will work too. So I was kind of setting up a scenario that uh, didn't work the way I was thinking, but that's what coding is all about. So now I'm going to run this code just to make sure that what I expected to happen is in fact happening. And so what I'm gonna do is bring down, so I'm gonna test the different scenarios. First of all, I know it's going in the loop the first time because I got this, shall I keep looping? So I know that my initial condition seemed to work correctly because we went into the loop. 
So now I'm going to type in, just to practice, I'm going to do a capital Y. And in my testing, I know that if I do a capital Y, it should see out great equal this let's loop again, and we should go in again, and I should be prompt again. So I'm going to type in Y. And yes, it seemed to work. Great, let's loop again. Shall I keep looping? And so if I type in an N, I expect to break out. So I'm going to do that. And I did break out. Okay, so that scenario is tested. And so the other test did is if I don't put in N's or Y's, will it also end? And the answer to that should be yes, because I haven't put any conditions in otherwise. In other words, let's put in a K. And if I look at my code, when I put in a K, if keep going is the same as N or N, it's not. So we're going to skip that part. Else if keep going is equal to Y or Y, then we're going to do that. But there's nothing else, which means that by the end of this if block, keep going still has an in, the K in it. So this will be evaluate to false, and we should go right out of the loop. So let's see if it happens. And in fact, it does. So it's important to test your code to make sure it's all the scenarios are doing what you expect. And in this video, we saw an example of using a string. In other words, our user had control using a Y or some pre, um, whatever we decided, some pre-evaluated decision that we provided them. In our case, you can enter in a Y or a Y that would enable us to control that Hello. exit uh, variable.